mystery check. This video is brought to you by the subscribe button. S U B S C R I B E, the ring a ling. Why is there so many pieces of tape on that box? Is there something nefarious in this box? Something heavy in that box, I'll tell you that. All right. Robo and Kala, two in one laptop, a revolutionary design with ultimate productivity. So, this was originally gonna be on This Is. Okay. With Instagram made me buy it. Instagram made you buy a laptop, okay? It's, I mean, it's an Instagram laptop. Oh God, it's gonna be really bad. I've never heard of Robo and Kala. Um, we got a screen protector for a tablet, which I guess is this. Uh, we've got the keyboard, so yeah, revolutionary surface style tablet. And we've also got a lightweight shock absorption, portable water repellent computer bag. So we've got ourselves the tablet, what? Quite light, I will say. It's actually surprisingly light. Wow. Like, it's gorgeous looking. It is very thin. How is the kickstand? I mean, fine. A little, oh. Ooh. That's maybe not a great sign. Sounds what? like my knees. Okay, well that's maybe not super impressive. So it does have a lot of antenna lines. I'm wondering, does this have like 4G or 5G or something? Because it looks like it's got a lot of antenna lines. I'll tell you that just on first impression, away. that bezel looks really thin. It is quite a thin bezel. So we've got ourselves USB-C. So it does have a smart character on the bottom and then dual USB-Cs on the side. Any signs of light? Oh, it's firing up. All right, well, that'll be the first step. So it is definitely a color matched keyboard, a decent sized trackpad. I don't like the fact, and this is a really minor nitpick, they didn't capitalize the L and lock. So it's caps lock or caps lock. Look, I'll admit, you put this all together, it looks nice, right? Like that looks like a surface style tablet. Is it an OLED? It is. Mm. AMOLED. AMOLED. Windows 11 pre-installed. Uh, I've got a pen, which actually does feel much more like a pencil because it's got like flat edges on each side, which I kind of like. So it's a um, Snapdragon uh, XCX Gen 3. Oh, it's the X, oh, so the actual, the good one. Yeah, with 16 gigs of RAM, 512 uh, NVMe, and the uh, SSD is user upgradable through a little hatch in the back. Basically what we're working with here is a pretty powerful processor, but the downside is, is that most apps have to run through a compatibility layer, which sort of saps some of the performance, which then makes this pretty decent chip feel a little bit slow. So if I want to spec out a Surface Pro 9, which is quite similar to this in a lot of ways, we're talking about $2,179. That's a little bit of a tough pill to swallow. Um, How much do you think I got this one for? From a brand I've never heard of before, 1300 bucks. I got the entire bundle for $850. Wait, I've gone through this whole segment thing this is a, like an overpriced piece of garbage and it's actually like less than half the price of the surface? Wait, this, is, this really? is a lesson on not judging a book by its cover. Did we actually find? Is this actually good? What is this we? Did Matt you, actually find something you, good? You were ready to throw this in the trash as as a, a write off, as a as a piece of of e-garbage. Next up, we've got a word from our sponsor, Whatnot. Whatnot is the newest way to get your hands on collectibles, electronics, and a whole lot more. Now for me, I know it's a huge thing in the collectible community, especially when it comes to Pokemon, where I may or may not have partaken, but I'll be hosting my own stream on Whatnot on September 21st at 3 p.m. Pacific. I'll have some other time zone conversions down here, but come hang out with me. I'll be selling a ton of stuff from previous videos, including maybe some Roboraptor clones, some mystery boxes, as well as a couple of bigger ticket items, including an Xbox Series S, Steam Deck, all kinds of really cool stuff. Listings with photos only tell part of the story. What's great about Whatnot is that you can interact live with the sellers. Think about like eBay meets Twitch. Joining is really simple. Check out the link in the description to get yourself $10 off your first purchase, create an account, download the app, and on September 21st, I will see you over at Whatnot for all kinds of shenanigans, randomness, and importantly, some sweet deals. Thank you very much to Whatnot for sponsoring this episode of Mystery Tech. I, I do want to tell a story for this. Okay, go ahead. All right. What's up? I ordered this a while ago. Okay. It showed up. It was in my hand. Yes. I left it on Alex's desk. Okay. Somehow it disappeared from Alex's desk. Okay. And we never saw it again. Okay. <laughs> Two months later, yeah. it arrived in the mail again. This sounds a little too spooky, Matt. I don't know what to say about it, except that, oh, is this the chicken nuggy? Is this the chicken nuggy controller? Yes. All right. 
So there was a limited time deal in McDonald's, I believe just only in China, where they sold you quite literally a chicken nuggy Tetris game. Uh, I saw this all over Twitter and I was like, I want, oh, it's a boot. It's a boot. You know that the chicken nuggets have, have shapes, like right? What? I just thought you were associating shapes. <laughs> it's a circle. All right, <laughs> so we've also got a large number of little stickers. So this was, if I am correct, was this given away in Kids Meals or you could buy it? I want to say it was like $4. Oh, wow, okay, got it, I see. So wait, can you rotate the pieces here? Look at this power stance. What's wrong with my power stance? Look, look, look. Oh, no, he's oh. twerking, oh my. I'm choking under the pressure. <laughs> no! Get it over, get it over, get it over, no! 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 What in the actual This is one gold ass PC. I know a little bit about this, but essentially on Amazon, there are hundreds of sellers who will try to sell you an old desktop from Dell or HP, and they'll do whatever they can to get you to buy it. Because a lot of these things are essentially e-waste now, and instead of actually e-wasting them, what they'll do is they'll maybe swap out for like an SSD, maybe throw in a very low end graphics card, and in this case, fill it with gold grip tape and call it a day. Do you? Oh, now, sorry, I had to say down. The gold is, before you Do The gold is nice. Yeah, it is nice. But you know, I, I think it's kind of boring to go with just one theme. I think it's time to switch it up. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> oh my goodness. What in the actual? Mm -hmm, okay. <laughs> we switched it up. It is an immensely heavy keyboard. Can you hear this? Well, it is heavy. It weighs about as much as the PC. So we've got ourselves a couple of sticks. Uh, oh, okay, immediate problem here. Um, when you move this, uh, I can literally put my finger inside and like pull it out. Like, okay, uh, stop putting your finger in things. I will uh, continue to do that. It only comes with the board. So we You provide, need to provide the switch. Yeah. yeah, we need to provide the switches. We need to provide the keycaps. Um, Wait, so who built it? Kinsey. I will say, feels quite nice. The real star here is the Joy-Con. I think it's more just for the Nintendo fanatic. I would consider those more of an aesthetic choice. I would agree with that. Else. This would look great on your Nintendo themed desk. Struggle a little bit with um, the practicality of this, but you know what? Who am I to question fun? So what are you missing? A mouse, a PlayStation themed mouse. But what are you gonna be doing because your hands are gonna be full with, that, with those Joy-Cons? I'm gonna be looking for uh, an explanation to this one. Glass hole, what? Oh, glass ooze. Oh, no, glass. it is not glass hole, it's glouse. <laughs> Gla Gla glouse, glass I knew that. Glass thing. Uh, well, it used to be. And this, this is an assistive device, a glouse. What an eclectic mix of uh, accessories and uh, items for this segment. Okay, I mean, it's really boring to be on one theme all the time. Great. Uh, that's why I switch it up all the time. <laughs> Let's see the glouse. Glouse. Doing a little bit of a German in there. Yeah. Like a little, yeah. little, little, little mm, spice. Mr. Guten Tag, Glouse. Wow, yeah. Threw, threw some sauerkraut on that one. And let's take a look. Ooh, what the f This is not what I thought it was going to be. Oh, <laughs> wow. Ah, uh, this is not the glouse that I was looking for. There's plenty of receding forehead there to okay, no. like. Uh, <laughs> is that receding? We, we could have gotten you four more of these things. <laughs> Your hairline is just like up, retreating. Are we like, sure the mouth is gonna know where to go? Yeah, I didn't know your hairline was French. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome my friends to our gaming future. So, we've got a lot of items to talk about. Let's do it one at a time. Starting out with my glouse. The way this works is that it is going to connect to your device via Bluetooth. Now it works on a wide variety of different devices, including iOS and Android. I'm using it on Windows. And while I'm not entirely sure the mechanism of how it's tracking, it's actually fairly straightforward. So as you can see, I am using my uh, gaze to move the mouse cursor around. The downside to this device 
is that it is not actually really fully self-contained. Even though it does have a battery, you actually have a little 3.5 mil connector on one of the sides. That's actually meant to be used with an additional accessory to be able to enable clicking. So as far as I can tell, without an additional device, you actually can't click, which is why I have the mouse here. But depending on how you want to use this, if say it's easier for you to use some adaptive controller to use audio or to move your cheek or however you want to do it, you could theoretically plug that into here and that would pass the actual click through. So the Glouse was $580 without the attachments. Um, sorry, can we just pause for one second? This is $580? Yeah, we didn't spend our money. $580 and you can't click it. <laughs> You can't put a price on accessibility though. You can, it's $580. I, I, look, I'm gonna try to be reasonable here. Uh, if you need this, you need this. And if this is what allows me to use a computer, then great. $580 before any attachments feels borderline egregious. How about our gold PC? Can you make me feel better? How much was our gold PC? 150, 200 bucks, all right. Let's settle down a little bit. Let's talk about our PC. So this is clearly just some Dell Optiplex that uh, someone has artfully redesigned. Now say so this one's a little newer than I expected. So this is a Core i5-4570, which is Haswell, which would be 2013. So still roughly a 10 year old system, maybe nine years old, depending on when it came out. But I will say a fairly competent system at that. And on top of that, we've got ourselves 16 gigs of RAM and a 500 gig king fast SSD. The downside though, is that it is using integrated graphics, which means that while this might look neat, it is going to be very limited. Like it is a office PC. And the, also the problem is, is that because it is such a small form factor, you're actually kind of limited in that you only can put in a half height graphics card that certainly would need to be able to pull just PCI power. So it, you're buying this for the aesthetic. You're not really buying it for the performance. Keyboard? I'm a little bit more positive on. Now, it's a little hard to justify this keyboard just because it does come in a bare bones kind of state. So this was $250 yeah. bare bones. And then probably another hundred bucks in switches and keycaps. Yeah. Let's see how I can type on this keyboard. Woo, 94 words per minute. Dude, this keyboard, or at least the switches that have been chosen here are actually really quite nice. Dries Deporter. What is Dries Deporter? Or is that just, uh, okay. Short Life. Name, Austin Evans. So uh, the fact that the product name is Short Life doesn't make me feel great, I'll admit. So basically, you went to this Short Life company, you gave them all my info and said, hey. I gave them a shocking amount of information on you. Really? Yeah. Okay, this is morbid and uh, slightly spooky town for this episode of Mystery Tech, but sure, why not? A clock to remind you that life is short. So we've got a micro USB, oh my God, micro USB, kill me now. Life is, <laughs> life is short. So right now as I'm recording this video, I am 30 years old. How long do you think it's gonna give me? 80. I didn't, I didn't say early 80s. I'll say 87. 80, I ain't, no, no, no. We're morbidly far. obese. How are we I am, obese? you guys aren't. Like, we have erectile what? Sorry, that can keep people that's a erect for- that's, that's a different problem. Why do you think we have the pillows, guys? <laughs> From Pat. I like how the guys always sit on the chairs with pillows on their laps, casually kind of blocking their tech boners as they watch Austin open boxes of amazing technological advancements. There's a lot of pillow talk oh. over here. Ooh. Oh, Wait, no, US, no. USB-C. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, yeah. VGA. <laughs> VGA? It's got wireless charging. Oh, Windows XP. <laughs> Can I go home? Oh my God, I'm 40.3% done with my life. This can also help. With the, oh, this is the device. Wait, wait, you guys know about my device? We got you the clock. We also got you the Glock. Have you ever wanted to really get into a FPS a first person Divicer? Divicer, yeah. Um, when you're devicing people, that's a different That's a different <laughs> website, my friend. <laughs> oh no. All right, see? Ragnarok, born for FPS. Look at this, it's a handle for your device. So Ragnarok have created <laughs> a, it's a 
handle, right? So if you're playing a game and you want the real experience, you can go, which I'm YouTube for the record. Uh, this is a self-contained plastic game controller, which has got a little, it's got a wheel and it's got a, you can say mouse. I can use this like a regular vertical mouse, which I'm not personally a huge fan of normally, but I know a lot of people do like using them. So we have a couple of switches on the bottom. Power on, power off, and vibrator on. What? what? Every time you pull the trigger of your device, it vibrates in your hand. Can you hear this? This is an interesting device. So how much is the Ragnarok device? $69. <laughs> How much is the Austin Evans has a short life clock? 165 euros, which is roughly $180. The Ragnarok, I kind of get. It's not great, but it's it's decent. It's it's all right. I, I, I can kind of get behind it. I wish it was a little bit better. This feels like a novelty that I could almost get behind, but I can't. The fact that there's no battery is really, really annoying. I want to set this thing on a shelf and watch it and go, ha ha, every once in a while. The thing is, this aesthetically looks nice until you realize that this cable is always plugged into the side of it. Like, look, look, that's like the best I could do. I'm gonna use my Ragnarok on it. Oh, good Lord, what? It's been a while since an item hit the desk that was quite this big. This is a 44 pound Smart Drop Secure Delivery Box. I'm not gonna lie, my first thought with this is if someone cares about their packages so much that they've got a giant safe on their front door, I would just want the safe. Not that I would be a filthy porch pirate plundering people's personal packages. Oh no, this is my assembly guide. I regret my decision. Oh, does it come assembled? No, oh. you have to build the box. Oh. It is uh, a 11 step process to build your box. Wait, how much is this stupid thing? It normally is $400, which I'm assuming is what we paid for it. Uh-huh. Um, but it's on Amazon now for uh, $200. People could steal like five or six of my packages and I would still be net negative compared to this package. Look at it, look at it. Also the pen is one, two, three, four. That, there's only four numbers. So you could probably just sit there and go one, two, three, four. Well, you'd be on Four, someone's three, two, porch one. for a long time, though. It's roughly 64 combinations. Who wants to help me build this thing? Oh, we're actually... Oh, well, we have a thing. Yeah, I have to we're, meet We're gonna go see friend. the Jonas Brothers. Oh, wow. So much fun. <laughs> Got any packages? So, I will say, even though it's annoying that you have to build this, it actually wasn't too bad. It took two of us, what, 15 minutes to build it? Um, it's very straightforward. I have now gone through the process of pairing it with the app. You do need to pair it with the Eufy app. It currently is connecting. And theoretically, what this will do is allow me to remotely control it, set the password, all that kind of stuff, but also it does have a camera. So it will kind of double as like a doorbell camera. Uh, I find it to be a little bit cumbersome just because look at how big this thing is. Like, imagine putting that on your porch. Like, that's gonna take up the whole damn thing. But it advertises that it can fit 99% of packages. But you know what it won't fit? Your, the HOA's tolerance for it being on your porch. Okay. Huh. Oh, this looks surprisingly easy, actually. Mmm, I'm, mmm, no, oh, oh. We did it, boys, okay. I we see, can go home. I see some like blinking light in here. That's not good. Wait, is there really a light in there? Yeah, there's a blinking blue light because it's trying to sink right now. Oh, that's funny. It's very dark. We got it. Hold on. There you go. Surprise! It's that's me, your Amazon delivery driver. Forgot oh. me. I don't think this is it. <laughs> Apparently, that's an alarm. <laughs> so, uh, do you want to change your tone a little bit? Who's stealing a thing now? <laughs> just steal the box. Let's steal the box. Let's steal the box. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. They'll never see us coming. All right, we're gonna steal the box now. Let's steal the packages. Oh no! Go 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 and don't forget that I'll be going live on Whatnot on September 21st at 3 p.m. Pacific time. See you there, my friends.